Hello and welcome to New Wave. Today we are at the shopping mall Mega in Kaunas, Lithuania and look at this massive, impressive super tank. It's a mega tank and a mega cool shopping mall. This is a very famous tank which I know since a couple of years. I guess it's almost 15 years old. It's made from acrylic. I, as far as I know it was built by Reynolds and they did a refurbishment maybe five years ago. So they uh, took all the artificial corals out and got new ones from uh, Pangea, from Jan. Uh, we will meet him later and he will explain a bit more about this, uh, this project. Maybe we'll get more information out of it. We are at uh, Zoo Kaunas and we're actually in a bat cave enclosure and uh, let me introduce the one and only Jan Möller from the company Pangea. Pangea is doing artificial rock, rock work and uh, coral work all over the world for zoos and public aquariums. We have um, a joint project at the aquarium terrarias. So now we are in front of this big aquarium. This uh, project was built a couple of years back. Can you give us a briefly more facts about this big tank? The original aquarium was built 15-16 uh, years ago by an American company and an Australian company and there was always some leakage problems with it and also the decoration had some issues where it was made in glass fiber so it, it, it broke really fast. Salt water is very aggressive and the, 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 the glass fiber decoration uh, deteriorated. So we were asked to come and, and fix the silicone and then re take all the decoration out and then uh, rebuild the decoration the way we normally do so it. So they drained the, the whole tank? They drained the tank and then uh, there was made a new uh, waterproofing and a new silicone. Oh, okay. That silicone is being uh, fixed up right now. Uh, there, there's some issues with this steel constructions, which is a little bit tricky to do. So we have divers in there and, 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 and fixing that right now. There's always issues when you're draining a tank, uh, everything uh, pulls together. So the, the pipe work needs to be resealed and stuff like that because yeah. everything moves when you take the pressure off the aquarium. Yeah, yeah. like in like Berlin. Aquarium. Like everything, yeah, yeah. everything. And, yeah. and there's always something which you cannot calculate. You, you have an idea that this might happen, this might happen, and then something yeah it, it is taking the water out of an aquarium is just not easy do you know about roughly how many artificial corals you, you add inside I think we added around 2,000 artificial Two, corals in 2000 so yeah. when 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 it's come to a project like this it always depends on how the customer would like to design this scaping yeah are you counting normally by square meters or how many corals are you going to add on a square meters and how many models you uh, have already made? In, a, in our a, inventory we have yeah. around 270 different corals uh, and then they come in also variations of, of colors so, so we have a lot of calls. It, it, it's all depending on, on the client and, and of course it's also a budget issue uh, mm. how much it is because we, we can put in a lot of calls uh, and, and it would look impressive or we can put in a few and it, it would look kind of not so impressive. It, it, it is, it is yeah. a question of what people expect is a coral reef. And I have corals which takes up yeah, one yeah, square exactly. meter by itself and so it is smaller corals. Big ocean tanks like yeah. this yeah. normally you, 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 you can't add that much yeah. uh, corals yeah. into. So, we so, so it, it also we, we did the renovation of the Burj Al Arab, the seven star hotel in Dubai mm -hmm. and we installed almost 7,000 corals on 200 square meters. So that is dense. Uh, we did uh, Mexico, we did uh, 12 and a half thousand calls, but that was in a tank of 500 square meters. Now we are saying in a back cave, so everything is custom made. And um, do you have a picture when you are entering, entering your room and then it comes up that you are doing models like this that we, maybe I will take it or you can just explain something. And then it's, you have a different artist while well, we did this project in, in Zult, I remember I was really hooked on it, just watching them, how they are doing the, the fine tuning on it. Yeah. It's an artistic thing and it, it is something where people do not understand how much work is involved in it. Yeah. A, a dripstone cave like this might be seven or eight hours per square meter. Mm, and and this is uh, 100 square meters, so we have 700, square me uh, six, 700 hours of work in here before we are finished. In total, the project we are going to see in the shopping mall, what are you guess in total how many work hours you have to invest there? Probably we did a thousand. 
1500 hours. If you have like a shopping mall, the, the client is, is maybe more, I want an aquarium. Whereas if you are here in, in a place like a zoo, I have this specific animal, I have this specific alligator, it comes from this specific river, and I want the rocks to look specific like that area. The story gets better because you know that this animal comes from there, therefore the trees should look like that, the rocks should look like that, because then you have a story to tell. Whereas a shopping mall and an amusement park. Yeah, I really like this uh, architecture, especially while you are taking the escalator up, so you can, you have different levels. There's a kind of a, a food plaza where you can sit and enjoy this, this beautiful tank. So you, New Wave has not built it? No, no, it wasn't, it wasn't us that built it. We were just asked to check because they had some problem with the leakage and we, we did check and then we recommend to, to call our guys from uh, Aquatic Solution or Midgard. In Europe they're calling Midgard divers and in the US they are very known about Aquatic Solution, Drew Anderson and his team. We are not in charge, we are just the visitors and we just wanted to talk about and give you the opportunity to to have a closer look to this beautiful aquarium. I see some bigger sharks. Yeah, I counting three bigger sharks, white tip, black tip. So, questionable. It's, I wouldn't put those sharks into those tanks. And why? I think that those animals belong to bigger tanks, much bigger tanks, or to the, to the ocean. We have some mackerels, we have some tanks, some, uh, bad fish, some trigger fish, I see a lot of different and those artificial coral inserts from Pangea. So the corals are fake. Florian, you as an expert. Me uh, as an expert. I, I, yeah, you as an expert. Maybe some of the people uh, watching the video feel remembered to the aquarium in Berlin. Me too. You too. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. What do the aquarium owners have for opportunities to check their tanks maybe also from new wave uh, because i think you offer something in that yeah, way yeah yeah what we are doing even if we are not building those big tanks we are doing the check for them we are checking big tanks in public aquaria those kind of tanks need to be get checked regularly that means the bondings the silicon sealing we're doing laser scans checking also the stress factor in the chemical bond so we can uh, make it visible with a polarized light and some special foil that we are using and after this we are reporting it to the owner and or to the operator and then they have to decide um, either they have to drain the tank maybe do some refurbishment reduce or when everything looks like like it should be then they have the approval so we are working with a with a structural analysis company, they are especially proofed for those kind of, of, of work. So we are supporting them while they are doing the work. We have divers and everything. So if you have a tank like that, which need to be checked, refurbished, polished, whatever, just call New Wave and we are coming with our team. And what are the main interesting points while checking a tank like that? Scratches? Uh, or the, scratches the is just, scratches are just yeah, visible, it's visible thing. So if it scratches, it doesn't look good. But uh, you always have to check the chemical bonds. So if uh, I will look for one, there's for example, it's always good if you don't see it. So there's a chemical bond, which normally only acrylic nerds see. <laughs> Aquarium nerds like us, for example, there's another we bonding, can you can bit. see it. Then you can imagine, and then you can guess how thick this material is. So- What um, are you guessing? 250 mil at least this you know there is a difference between there's another water level so this is a single sheet and this is a single sheet and especially and for sure that the curved one is different uh, is a different sheet or a single sheet this needs to be checked if you won't see any stress cracking inside then you don't have to be afraid of second is the waterproofing like the layer that are in the concrete like a fiberglass or something and for sure the silicon sealing the black one that you see this is uh, the connection between acrylic and the structure itself this normally needs to be gets checked yeah